When it comes to sleet and hail, it may be difficult to tell the difference between the two. Meteorologist Taylor Stephenson breaks it down in today's Weather Works. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson, here to explain to you how your weather works. During inclement weather, you may see some ice pellets falling from the sky and wonder whether you're seeing sleet or hail. There is a huge difference in how the two ice types develop. So let's talk about how sleet and hail form. Sleet is a type of precipitation that can occur during winter storms. Temperatures are very cold near the base of clouds during winter weather. So when precip falls, it starts off as snow. As that snow falls, in the case of sleet, the snow enters a warmer section of the atmosphere and melts in that zone. Below that warmer section, closer to the ground, there's another layer of frigid air where the melted flakes refreeze. This creates the sleet ice pellets. You can tell the difference between sleet and snow because sleet will make small pinging sounds as the ice ricochets off of objects like your windshield or your house windows. Hail is one of those fascinating impacts from severe storms that can be cool but damaging to your property. For hail to form, a storm needs strong updrafts. An updraft is just air that rushes up into a cloud during a thunderstorm. That updraft picks up water droplets in its stream and pushes that water to colder, higher levels of the atmosphere. The water then freezes and becomes the beginnings of a hailstone. Hailstones grow through accretion, which is just a fancy word for ice building on top of ice. The stronger the updraft, the more the hail can grow. When hail gets too large to be carried by the updraft, its weight makes it fall to the ground. Sometimes on very warm days, when hail reaches the ground, it can melt on contact, so you may not even get the chance to see the stones accumulate. I'm meteorologist Taylor Stephenson, and that's how your weather works.